Well, I want to show you here. I'm building a movable chicken coop. This is the framework. The frame, the bottom piece, is all made out of inch and three eighths galvanized pipe that's used for fencing, uh, chain link fencing tops. And I bought all these parts from Tarp Dealer, uh, tarps.com. Uh, they make all these different fittings, keys, corners, specialty pieces. This, this is the this is the doorway here. And it's just going to slide across the ground. I don't need any wheels because it's going to be light enough. Uh, on this side, I built a roost. Now it's one more roost than I need, but I think you never know. Uh, what I did is I left about 15 inches from the ground up so the chickens can move, go underneath the roost and eat the grass. Because these are going to be free range, virtually free range. Uh, they'll eat their grass. I'll go out and move the whole pen every day. I just finished the nesting box. Now these nesting boxes are big. They're 14 by 14 by 16 high. But the issue I have with it, it's too heavy. So I'm going to make another one out of some planter boxes I just bought. Uh, which will make it so much lighter, it'll be unbelievable. Now, I, I bet the, the frames are one inch EMT electrical conduit, and I bought a bender so I could bend them, and they're 12 foot. It's a 12 foot circle, there's two of them there. They're joined in the middle. I tried two different junctions. One of them is this screw junction, or coupling. Uh, it was a little more money, a lot more money, and actually I bought these, these were five dollars, three dollars for four. Much better, easier to use, uh, and of course cheaper. Uh, the two uprights are inch and three eighths also for the doorway and for the other side frame. Just to give me some extra strength, the other stuff is all three quarter inch. Crossed. Uh, I'm going to cover the whole thing in chicken wire and then I'm going to put a 10 by 16 rubber tarp which should cover almost the whole top. It'd give me a, uh, probably a foot and a half on either side. Like I said, I'm going to reconfigure for the nesting box to make it much lighter. Right now, let's see if I can move this thing. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow this camera. Right now I can pull that one-handed. Uh, so it, by the time I put the chicken wire on it, the tarp, it's not going to add a whole lot of weight. Uh, this should hold comfortably 15 20 chickens. Uh, problem is I'm getting 30, so I'm going to build another one, but I'm going to build a, def a little different style. It's called a chick saw. It's going to be on wheels. So I'll give you this update. Uh, what I did on most of the parts, I just flattened the ends. I drilled a hole and I put these screws in. The same thing which would hold the roost. And a couple of spots where I couldn't get uh, parts that, that would work. Or it was just a whole lot cheaper to do it this way. I tried doing this on a little bit of a budget. Where these cost about $5. This was a little bit of banging with a hammer and a couple of screws. So, of course, that's cheaper. The other one I'm going to be doing is all out of one inch EMT electrical conduit. Uh, they also have the couplings, the same place had the couplings for the one inch pipe. So I'm going to try that, uh, make it a little lighter. Again, this one, that one will be on wheels. 
uh, so it should really be even easier to move around and what you do is they get locked up and it's up off the ground and at night or in the morning you drop down the gate they all come out and graze and then uh, <coughs> at night you put them back in okay this is John I uh, hope this helps I'll give you some further updates when I get closer to being finished